Hey guys, I'm back and in today's video, we are gonna be taking an in-depth look at the Retimer Light Therapy Glasses. Let's go ahead and unbox them. The Retimer comes packaged in its carrying case, which if we open up, we get a soft pouch, charging cable. Now this is a mini USB, which I am disappointed with. You get your instruction manual book, and then of course the retimers. Here they are, pretty weird looking, very futuristic. Not crazy about them, but there are pros and cons which we'll go over. In order to use the retimer glasses, you just press this button here once for half brightness, once more for full brightness. Now there's a little bit of a ramp up period so they don't hit full brightness right away. Once more is off and you have four LEDs on the bottom here. These will run for 60 minutes before shutting themselves off. They recommend using it for 30 to 60 minutes and most of the studies I believe used full brightness. They're frosted, but they're still kind of glaring in the morning, especially on full brightness. It ends up giving me a little bit of retinal bleaching. Like when you look at something really bright and you can sort of see like a, like a blue or a dark shape in your vision afterwards, unlike the AO, right? Because they have it frosted up here and because they use blue light instead of a green light, it doesn't have to be as bright to be as effective. Now there's an adjustable nose piece. You get vertical adjustment, which is a little flimsy. You can, you can knock it and it'll fall back down. The horizontal adjustment, however, is a bit stronger. So you can use that to sort of customize where the LEDs are hitting you. Now, as I said in the unboxing, charging is done via mini USB, not even micro USB. Mini USB. I don't know anyone who has mini USB devices anymore, so I don't know why they chose mini USB, but there you have it. They hold about five hours of battery life and will charge in around six hours, I believe. The glasses come with a case. It's rather large, so you can travel with it without worrying about it breaking. They come with a soft pouch as well. It ends up being pretty similar to the size of the AOs case. If you're not worried about them breaking in this, you can save quite a bit of space with that. The retimers weigh in at about 75 grams, which makes them about two and a half times heavier than the AO glasses. And you can tell it's a little front heavy. This is all you got in the back. I found that after about 45 minutes, the weight on the nose get a little bit sore. It's not terrible, but you can kind of feel it when you take them off. I will say I found that it caused my ears to start aching. So I found that I had to kind of do this with it, which is fine. It stays, you know, even walking around, but you're not gonna be able to exercise in these, which like for the AO, I'm able to just whip my head around. And with these, they'll come flying right off. Another thing I don't really like about the retimer glasses is that the light is on the bottom. Now, they designed these so that light wouldn't be blocked from the eyebrow, which honestly isn't really an issue with any of the other light therapy glasses that use light from the top because the, it's over the eyebrow. Anyways, they have light on the bottom, which means it's kind of like always right in your vision. Like if you're reading something, you're using your laptop, if you're using your phone, you're basically staring right at the LEDs, which sucks. So the design of it, we're just not crazy about them. Where these really shine is if you need to use prescription glasses. One of the issues with the AO glasses is that they sit quite a bit further from your face and most glasses nowadays have a blue reflective coating which can block a little bit of this light. Not a ton, but it also depends on the glasses. Now with the retimer glasses, you don't really have that issue because one, the glasses don't really push them away. You can kind of, you know, mess around and get them as close to or as far away from your eyes as you'd like. And because it uses a green light, these aren't gonna block any of it. I would definitely consider getting the retimer glasses. They're probably gonna be more effective than these if you need glasses. So we did run the retimer glasses through our light spectrometer mannequin head. This is Henry. He helps us to objectively measure these light products. So we wanted to know how these stacked up to the AO glasses in terms of the spectrum and the brightness and the power density and all that. Right, you can see that the AO are peaking at about 463 nanometers, just sort of a blue turquoise light, whereas the retimer glasses are at about 500 nanometers, which is sort of a turquoise green light. 
What's interesting is because this is more green, it's hitting that photopic light spectrum more than the blue. So while they're fairly similar in terms of total power output, these are actually about five times brighter. So these are peaking at like 550, 570 lux, whereas these are like 90. The one pro to the Retimer glasses is that they've probably done more studies than any other light therapy glasses on the market. So AO is catching up. They're currently in like 10 clinical trials, but the Retimer glasses have, I think like eight on the website that they link to for things like PTSD, postpartum depression, jet lag, sports performance, all kinds of stuff like that, and they work. Now initially, Retimer did a few studies where they compared 470 nanometer, 495, 520, right? So sort of in that blue green hump. And it seemed like in at least, I believe two out of the three studies, the green light seemed to work just a little bit better, not significantly different. Being that that's the case, in my opinion, the blue is better because it's just as effective at that similar power output, but it's so much less bright. I mean, I just can't overstate just how much more comfortable this is from a weight perspective and from a glare perspective. Overall, what are my thoughts? Retimer has a lot of research behind it and they work well with glasses. That's my summary. If you are interested in purchasing any of these, there's links in the description below. I also have articles on the website where we go into a bit more detail with pictures and graphs and statistics on everything from the testing. We are going to be testing the Pegasi, the Luminet, and I believe there's a pair that are kind of just normal glasses. Um, I just want to figure out which one of these is the best so that I can recommend the best one for you guys, but we will know objectively which one is best once we've tested them all. So yeah, if you guys like this video, I would appreciate it if you literally liked it with the button below. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.